Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial we're going to take a look at generator expressions. Very similar to the list expressions but they act like generator functions. So let's go ahead and take a look. First we're going to create a list and we're going to look at list comprehension just to kind of refresh our memory. So we'll do A and a is going to represent a list so we're just going to do uh one two three four and five just like that all right and like i said we're going to do list comprehension first so i want to return a list of uh numbers that i multiply so we're just going to say um b is equal to a list and we're going to say um and let's do x times five for x in a just like that and that is list comprehension right there so we just multiplied each one of our numbers in the list up here by five and we got our number so five times one is five and so on all right so that's the list comprehension now we can do the same almost the same thing with uh the generator expression um and it also allows us to step through and call that expression when needed to return us the next value all right so this helps um you know keep less uh writing less code and stuff like that um so it generate expressions do help just like list comprehension does so let's go ahead and take a look at generate expression so we're going to say c is equal to instead of the square brackets we're going to use parentheses and we're going to say x times five four x in a similar to up here just notice that the list comprehension takes square brackets and the generator expression takes parentheses so go ahead and hit return and we call c now we see we have a generator object or an iterator object all right so how do we step through this we do next whoops next just like that put c in there and we get 5 10 15 20 25 and what happens when we get to the end of our data um up here with five times five is 25 so our next one's going to be the end of our data we get the r stop iteration r all right <clears throat> so that's the basics of a generator expression there's not much to it uh if you guys have any questions please let me know otherwise don't forget to like subscribe and share our videos i'll see you in the next tutorial